If any of you guys needed proof that I have a problem, this is it. So, um, I went in the city to uh, meet up with my friend and, you know, grab a coffee. And somehow we ended up in Primark and Lush and Boots and I don't know what happened, but the next minute I know I'm walking out and my arms ache. <laughs> Hello everyone, so I'm washed out for some reason. Hello everyone, so in today's video I am going to be doing another haul. I have literally just been in the city with my friend and I've also got a couple bits as you can see here that I've bought as well that I just thought I might as well throw in and show you. I've got a bit to show you here so let's just get on with it. First things I'll show you are just what's here. So I need some more Christmas jumpers because I've had the same Christmas jumpers for like three years now and I wanted to change so I bought three different jumpers. I've actually got a cardigan as well but it's like away and I can't get out to show you it right now. But I got three jumpers from Home Bargains. So first one I got was this one here. It's obviously just got Santa on it and it's actually got, I don't know if you can see it, you can see it a little bit. It's got like padding. So obviously it's got Santa's belly. Um, backfired on me a little bit because when I put it on it, I look pregnant. <laughs> but <laughs> um, I still like it. It's a really comfy jumper. It's like an ugly sweater but I really like it. <laughs> like I like a good classic ugly sweater. If you're gonna go for a Christmas jumper, go big or go home, literally. I got this in a large, and it's actually a men's jumper as well, so. The next one is a woman's one. This was in an extra large, and this is just a bad Santa jumper. It just says police department, bad Santa, prison number, height, all that kind of stuff. Again, just like a pointless jumper. I really like it. And the last one I got, this is more of like, I say it's a pretty one, but it's not. It's just like, it's just this, basically. I got this one in a small, so this is more of like my actual like going out. Com Honestly, I'll go out in all of them, but you know what I mean. It's like my more going out to dinner kind of Christmas jumper. <laughs> um, and again, this one's actually quite thin, so it's not, like I could wear this around the house and not sweat um because you know you wear them for a little bit and then you're like i regret this immediately <laughs> the next thing i got is from asda this is a christmas with frank nat and bing which it's just it's got all the classics on there like all my favorite oh it's just it's just a classic christmas in a cd you know so i just had to pick it up and this was only three pounds so yeah I then treated myself to a couple new DVDs because I'd watched the other couple that I bought from the previous haul. So I bought The Stranger's Prayer at Night which looks really really good. Um, for some reason I never actually got around to seeing it, why I don't know, but I picked this up and I also picked up Game Night as well which again I didn't manage to get around to seeing so I'm excited to watch both of these. Next, I to show you what I got from WH Smith, um, I needed to get a calendar for my nan because one of her Christmas presents involves like a surprise involving a calendar, so I just got this one, which honestly I think she's going to love because she likes the birds. I wanted to get a Bon Jovi one for a specific reason, but I couldn't, so yeah, I got this one. <laughs> just thought I'd show you it because... So next I'll show you what I got from Boots because it's also in the same bag as the WH Smith one. Um, I didn't need to get any more makeup but I wanted to test out a couple of products from Obsession and CYO I think it is. And I ended up mostly picking out eyeshadow palette stuff as per usual. So I picked up the Obsession Be Obsessed With eyeshadow palette. This is beautiful it's got like all the colors in it that I love and also the packaging for it is stunning you can't really see it very clearly but it's just silver and glittery and beautiful and I mean can we see these are we seeing this it's literally just me and an eyeshadow palette so 
that instantly went straight in my basket. <laughs> I got another obsession palette and this one is Belle Jordan. And again, it's got like similar-ish colours in it, but it's just super pretty. I just, I love it and I cannot wait to play with it. And also it's got a really nice mirror in there as well and it's actually clean. Not a lot of my mirrors last <laughs> and stay clean. Next I picked up the Obsession Lip Effects. Um, this one is in the shade Daydreamer and it says lip topper to add iridescent gloss finish to your lips. Next I picked up a Benefit Mini. This is the Dandelion Twinkle. When I saw this come out I really wanted to get it. I dropped it. But I wasn't entirely sure whether I'd use it. Um, and I hadn't like properly been able to see it in like person and then I looked at this and it literally just went straight in my basket you can't see it very well but it's so so pretty and I cannot wait to test this out moving on I got some CYO what are these metallic eyeshadow pigment things I got one in the shade lovey dovey and one in the shade college crush so this is college crush and it is beautiful it's just like a really really bronzy it's more of like an, a bronze gold and then like a yellow gold and it's my favorite kind of gold so i'm really excited to try that and i also got this one which is more of a orangey bronzy sort of shade then i got the cyo metallic eye sticks this one is in the shade clowning around and again it's more of like a goldy like a light gold shade can't really see that very well and then i also got another one in the shade small minds if i can open this which is more of a bronzy sort of shade as well i then bought myself some more nail varnishes just because i wanted to <laughs> um i got i'm just obsessed with barry m nail varnishes at the moment like Honestly, I feel like they're the best out there, or the best that I've tried personally. So I got the Barry M Matte Nail Paint, and this is just like a top coat to make your nail varnish matte, obviously. Um, I've got quite a few like glossy ones, and I really just wanted to test out the matte side, because I've only got a matte grey, and I really, really like it. Then I've got a, uh, another one in the Jelly High Shine, and this is in the shade Spare Mint, and it's just a really, really pretty blue shade. I've got one in the shade Ginger, which is more of a warm orange, which I've actually been looking for this kind of orangey nail varnish for the longest time, and I literally found it straight away. <laughs> and I also got another one in the shade Rhubarb, which is a purpley pink sort of shade. I went into Lush, I have near enough run out of all bubble bars and buff stuff, so I needed to get a couple more things. I stuck to my usual what I like, what I know I like, and also it was so packed in there that I just couldn't be bothered to go around and smell all of them. Um, so I got, what did I get? I got the classic comforter bubble bar, um, I got the Butterbed bath bomb, and the bright side um, bubble bar. And last year I fell in love with the Snow Fairy shower gel and I didn't even realise it was just like a winter thing so when I ran out I was devastated because I couldn't find any more. So I stocked up. <laughs> I got a big bottle so hopefully this will last me a good good while. It's, it's just, it smells amazing. If you ever get a chance to pick this up or smell this I recommend it. It just smells like sweets and it just I just love sweet smelling shower gels and shower and bath stuff. So yeah. First place I went into was Wilco as well and somehow ended up picking up a candle <laughs> as per usual. This one is sweet strawberry and red fruits. It smells amazing. Like strawberries <laughs> and red fruits. And finally I ended up in Primark. Uh, I actually said to my friend that I haven't seen anything in Primark that I really like um, in quite a while and came out with two bags. <laughs> um, honestly most of this is literally just pyjamas and I treat myself to a bag as well because I haven't got myself a bag in a long time and I felt like a new bag. Um, I'll show you what's in this bag first because it's literally just one thing. 
so I don't really need any more pyjamas because obviously she's on my last haul but I need to get rid of like some old old ones because they're starting to argue with my ankles <laughs> so I picked up this fleecy it's ridiculously soft this fleecy um, Christmas pyjama set it's obviously just got the Grinch on it it's got my favourite um, legs as well that are like singed at the bottom and yeah it's so soft so I got the trousers and obviously the top since it was a set to match it it's just I love it it's just so soft and it's I just oh I love it this was £15 and I got this in a small I also ended up getting some socks because these were literally right next to the pyjamas so I got myself some Grinch socks there's three different um, styles so it's just this grey one these red ones and then these green ones on the back and they were £2.50 I, at the checkout I actually just quickly picked up some gloves because I haven't got any gloves and I needed some and these were a two pack for only a pound so I thought why not then I bought myself some more of the pyjama trousers again Grinch um, but I got these in the same style with a little singed bottom and these were eight pounds and I got them in a small as well I bought myself a couple of bras which are beautiful I don't usually it takes so much for me to buy myself bras or anything like that just because I'm too lazy but I saw this and it's really pretty it's got these really nice frilly details at the bottom it's unwired so which will be weird for me because I usually wear underwire but it's wireless um I got this in a small purely because I didn't have a medium but also that actually looks like it might be all right for me and this was four pounds and because I liked it so much I also got myself a white pair set or whatever um, obviously exactly the same I got this in a medium instead because I don't know I just I'm just gonna test them out and see and obviously again this was also four pounds and lastly I treated myself to a new bag I haven't got myself a bag in a long time and I think I've seen this in someone else's haul but I don't know whose but I just really really like it it's quite a heavy bag as well actually um, I'm not someone who likes a big bag, I try not to carry a bag, I just hate them, but when I do, I like to have a good, good, good quality one, nice one, she says that she gets it from Primark, but I literally didn't even look at the price, I was just like, yep, want it, um, it's just got some silver chain detail, and the silver chain strap with the leather top, it's got like a cushion type, um, not fabric, cushion like detail on it, just on the front and it's just flat and plain on the back. It is a little magnetic button and it's just like actually a decent amount of space. I need to get myself a new purse, it's like my next thing because my other one's like falling apart. Um, but it's just got a couple of quite big pockets actually. A zip pocket and then a decent amount of room for just the stuff that I don't carry. <laughs> around with me um, and this was £12 and that is everything that I had to show you from this haul and the mess on my floor is ridiculous if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in the next one bye